Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful registration landing pages for your membership website. So when you first install MemberPress, this is the page that you see. So it's very difficult to customize because it just adds, you know, the information here and it also comes with this right sidebar. So the technique I'm going to show you is to use short codes. So the final design we're going to end up with is this one right here. So you can see I have the title of the membership. I also have the form right here on the bottom where they can add their name, last name, and sign up for this membership. And you can see here, it also shows the price. So as you can see, I'm sure you can agree with me that this registration page is way much better than this registration page. But of course, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to create this in Divi. Now, before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi or MemberPress using my affiliate link in the video description below, you get access to the courses that teach you how to use these plugins. So Divi, I have a specific course called Web Design Mastery. And for MemberPress, I also have MemberPress Mastery. So these courses will help you get up and started really, really fast in using these plugins. So I'm going to give them away if you use my affiliate link to purchase either Divi or MemberPress. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to find our membership levels. So I'm going to come over here to MemberPress and you can see here on the top, it says memberships. So this is where all my memberships are. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into this one here, the silver one, right? So I'm going to click on edit. And when I click on edit, it gives me a bit more information all the way down here to the bottom. So as I mentioned before, when you take a look at the page, it looks like this and it's very, very bland. And to be honest, you don't even have the opportunity to go in and make customizations to this. So this is why we need to create our own landing page. All right, so back over here, what we need to do now is to just make sure that we click here where it says membership short codes. This is very, very important. And this is where now we can copy this short code and create our own pages. So I'm going to click copy to copy our short code. Now that I've copied my short codes, I can then create my new membership registration page. So we can see here it says silver. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So I'm going to call this silver registration. So I'm going to type here silver registration. Okay. And then, and now I can use the Divi Builder. So in here, I can go in and use pretty much everything that I need that the Divi Builder gives me. So I can again, start this pre-made layout if I need to, and uh, or I can, you know, start this from scratch. So to be honest, I'm gonna do a pre-made layout again and see what sort of hero images I can get over here. So let's have a look. So let's try, let's try this one here. This one looks a bit different. So I'm gonna click on use this layout. So this is the layout that we're gonna use as our starting point for our registration page for our membership. Okay, so it's going to uh, load all our images here. So, okay, it's almost done. All right, so now that everything has been loaded, so pretty much this is my landing page. So I can go in and change the colors, I can change the image and so on. But um, right from the get go, I wanna go in and uh, change a few things straight away. So I'm gonna go here into my hero section and let me see where my image is. And right here is my image. So I'm gonna go in and get rid of that image. So the image I'm gonna go with is, let me have a look here. So now I have a lack of images here. You know what I could have done ahead of time <laughs> was to go in and uh, choose the image that I need straight away. So let me just choose this one here and, um, I'm going to just do a bit of work on this and just reduce the opacity of this image because it's a bit too bright. So I'm gonna click here and just gonna drag this up, add a bit more transparency. And I'm also going to do the same over here on the bottom so we can just see a slight, a slight hint of what is happening here. So, okay, I think I'm happy with that. And uh, let's see what else we can do here on the contents. Okay, that looks great. I'm gonna save that. And now I'm gonna go into the hero section itself. In fact, the button here, we don't need. I'm gonna delete that. And let's go into the hero section itself and just say uh, silver registration. Okay, so where it says, hello, Jane. So this could be our, okay. So this will be silver membership and uh, registration. 
There we go. So silver membership registration. I think I like that. That looks great. Uh, we can even go in and change our heading text here just to make sure everything is consistent. Because if you recall in the previous video, I used uh, Poppins. So I can go in and search for Poppins here and that. And I can also do this with the title. But you know what? We're not going to spend too much time doing that. Okay, so moving on, this is where now we need to add our registration form. So let's get rid of all this stuff that we have here. So I'm going to delete that. There we go. Let's get rid of all of that. Now I can go in and add a single column and add a text module here. Now I'm going to paste my short code that I copied before. And this shortcode, because of this ID 327, this is the specific shortcode for this uh, membership, which is the silver membership. So I'm going to save changes here. I'm going to delete that. In fact, I can delete everything else because I don't need all this other stuff here. All right. So now that we have our shortcode in place, what we need to do now, in fact, you know what? Let's publish this. Okay. So now that I've published it, I can go in now and further customize this Form. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I am going to add a background color to this row. And uh, I'm going to use the color from our color palette. So I'm going to come over here to my background. And let me go with this one right here. Okay, so I think, okay, I think I'll go with that. All right, and save that. And then I'm going to go in and uh, further customize this by coming over here to my text. And I'm going to change this to Poppins. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually go in and customize this text. I really, really like this uh, because we are able now to go in and change, you know, our text and make it, you know, match our website. Whereas before we were unable to do this. Now I'm going to go in and give this some breathing space by coming over here to spacing. And I'm just going to add a, some padding, uh, mostly to the left and the right, because that's where we need some breathing space. So I'm going to just go ahead and Okay, let's go with 38 because um, I am going to go in and also reduce the size of this um, this row. Okay, so, so far our text settings look great. Now this button here, we can't change it and that's really annoying. I think that can be done using CSS, but um, that's the only thing that I uh, can't go in and change. But other than that, the text here is easy to change, which is great. I can even go in and make this text darker if I need to do that. All right, so now that I have that in place, I am going to save this. And then I'm also going to go into my row settings and add some rounded corners. I'm going to go to border here and let's set this to about six. There we go. Right, so that's looking great. Now let's go to the sizing. So I'm going to go to sizing and let's reduce this to about seven, or not even 60%. So I think 60 works. Okay, so 60% here is uh, great. I am going to now center it, save that. Okay, so as you can see, this is now looking great. So this is our registration form. I can also add another text module here. So I can just click here and text module. And this could be the title of my uh, form over here. So we can just say silver membership, blah, 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 blah and uh, add our text. But of course, I mean, you know how to do that. I'm just going to delete that now. Okay. So this is now our main registration uh, form. And I want to go ahead and uh, delete everything else that we have here on the bottom because we don't really need it. So all we need here is pretty much the form. So now I'm going to go in and just add some padding here like that. Right, so I'm going to go in and also add some padding to the bottom here. So my design is balanced. So I'm going to go into spacing here. Right. So let's go with, uh, let's go with 50. And add a little bit more to the top as well. But this time this can be about 42. Okay. Let's go with that. Right. So I want to save now. And pretty much I am happy with uh, how this looks so far. Now I can even drag this and uh, add it as a negative margin so that it's over here in this area here if we need to do that. But you know what? I'm just going to uh, 
Let's reduce that a little bit to about, uh, let's go with 75 and save. Okay, so this is looking great. All I have to do now is to exit the Visual Builder and let's take a quick look at our page. And there we go. I like that. So I'm just thinking, should I use this line going across or should I do a negative margin? Let's go back in and see what we can do here. So I'm gonna go into my section setting here in my hero and I'm gonna go to my design and click on dividers because this is where my divider is at the bottom. So I'm gonna click bottom and set this to none. Okay, so now I'm gonna save this. And the next step now is to drag this and just add negative margin. So my registration form looks like that. Okay, so now that I have this, uh, the most important thing now is to make sure that this looks great on all devices. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, that's my tablet. And as you can see here, my text doesn't look great. And let's have a look at my mobile. And my mobile here is not too bad. So it's the text here that I need to work on. So I'm going to go back in here and fix that quickly. Right, so I'm going to go into my hero section here. So let's start with the text. And to be honest, I'm not happy with the color of the text as well. So I'm gonna go in and change that too. So let's go in and, uh, okay, so this is heading two. So for our color, let's try white. But then again, you know what? Let's just um, use one of our colors here and then just, uh, add a bit more white to it like that. So that looks great. So now I need to go to the sizing because this is where I can go in and uh, customize my sizes for the tablet and the different devices. All right, so heading to text size, that's fine. But if I go into my tablet, you can see here the word has, uh, has been messed up. So I'm gonna go back in and just this all the way down to about 60. And uh, for the phone, do the same, bring it down to about, uh, say, 36. Okay, so that looks great. And if I need to, I can go into the registration as well and do the same, but you know what? I think that looks okay. So now I'm gonna save this. So the word registration, I, th I think I can do something with it here. In fact, um, let's um, go to our heading text here. This is heading one, by the way. So I'm gonna reduce the size as well, like that, to about, let's say 30. And then I'm gonna add some letter spacing. Okay, sometimes I like adding letter spacing to my uh, titles. All right, so that's looking great now. I can save this. And let's take a quick look and see what the final design looks like. There we go, so that's our silver membership registration and this is where they can go in and register. And uh, over here, you can see if we compare with this, there's a massive difference. So definitely you wanna go in and use the short codes and uh, use those to uh, create your special landing pages, registration pages, and so on. You can also do the same thing with the login page, by the way, so uh, go ahead and use these short codes. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.